Yo guys, what is going on? Bobby here and today we got another really good video for you guys. So today we have our first ever brawler guide and what better brawler to do it outside of Gene. Yes, we have our Gene guide for you guys today. I'm super pumped to have this video out for you guys. Now before we start off, what I decided to do is clear my entire mini friends list and I'm going to be giving away spots on my mini all throughout the next couple months. So for today, I'm going to be giving away 10 spots on my mini. So all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, leave a like on the video, and just comment something down below. Just leave your IGN, something like that, just any type of comment. 10 people are going to be picked at random, they're going to be DM'd, or I'm going to say their name at the start of the uh, of a video in a couple vids, and they are going to be the winners. So again, you need to be subscribed, like the video, and just leave a comment down below. Could be anything you want, and 10 random people are going to win. So with that being said, let's get into the video, and let's start teaching you guys how to be master pro jeans okay so we're gonna start off this guy just by giving you guys a few facts with gene just a few little quick stats um things that gene are about so gene we're gonna talk about some level 10 stats and some level 1 stats so at level 10 he has 5040 hp this leaves him at towards like the middle range when it comes to tankiness and squishy he's just kind of in that middle at level 1 he's going to have 3600 hp each shot that he does does 1,400 at max level, not including his star power, which can raise it to 1,700, and every shot does 1,000 at level 1. Additionally, each little pellet at max does 233 damage, while they only do 166 at level 1. Gene's attack can go 11 tiles, which is the second largest attack, or the second longest attack in the game, which is just behind Spike after his uh, Spike little RNGs move off. And his full shot, so you can hit the full 1400 shot, it can go five tiles and two and five and two third tiles, which again is just absolutely incredible range. Gene Super is seven tiles. It used to be a little bit longer, but they had to tone it down due to how broken and how OP it is. So that being said, let's start talking about the star powers. So star powers. The first star power we have for you guys is Magic Puffs. Now Magic Puff basically heals your teammates around you. Here's a friendly brawler for so 400 damage per sec or 400 heal, sorry, per second. So it used to be 200, then they buffed it to 300. Nobody was using it, so they made it 400, and it's now really strong. Um, a lot of people are using it in competitive. It's really good because in most maps, you're near your teammates a lot of the time. So this additional 400 uh, healing per second is actually huge. The second star power is Spirit Slap. So this one was the more commonly used one. Uh, Spirit Slap is basically if you have your super, instead of using your super, you can hold on to it. And your shots do 1,700 damage and your little pellets do a little bit more instead of the base 1,400 and 233 by your pellets. Now, personally, I don't really like Spirit Slap as a star power. I think it's a little bit lazy of a star power um not that the team i'm saying or anything was lazy but it's just a little bit basic you can kind of do that for all brawlers like if poco has a super you can give him an additional 100 personally i like one of his star powers to be if he hits a pull it does additional damage so like 400 damage for a pull nothing crazy i think that would be really cool and a little bit game changing not for better or for worse just changes up the style hopefully maybe they can add that if they ever add third star powers but we will see so personally i like using magic puffs really good star power really team friendly and you can do a lot of things with your team with this star power you could use spirit slap if you think your teammates aren't going to be near you and you're just going to be holding a lane but i do really like magic puffs it's really really good so with that being said let's move on to our next category which is going to be overall gene tips now before we get into some gameplay i'm just going to give you guys some quick little tips for gene stuff that you can keep in the back of your head when playing gene something to keep in your mind that's always useful so you can three tap any thrower in the game and three tap any squishy slash really long range in the game so that's piper brock rico colt any throwers so mike um barley take you can three tap even spike there are a lot of brawlers so you can actually three type or three tap specifically throwers and long range you can actually auto aim your super with 100 percent hit rate anywhere in between zero and five tiles as long as you follow the direction your enemy is going with your brawler's body so if they're going left just walk left with your gene if they're going right walk right with your gene this only works vertically so it won't work horizontally i don't know why but make sure you guys are auto aiming your supers from zero to five uh, tiles away. Again, I don't know how long five tiles is. I've just kind of developed a sense for it. Um, so you guys, as you guys are playing, you guys are just going to continuously develop a sense for what's close enough and what's too far. But definitely do this instead of aiming because uh, for at least the short supers and the short pulls, because it's going to have a 100% success hit rate. 
If you're holding a lane, what I would suggest doing is just continuously chipping your opponent until they're under 4,200, 4,200 HP. And then when they are, you can pull them, three tap them, and then you're going to be able to get the kill. So that's what I recommend because if you can hit your full three shots, you're basically just one little pedal or one little like um, just tiny pinch away from your super. So if you can hit your full three shots after pulling somebody, that's definitely the ideal move. So anywhere in between 2,801 and 4,199 HP will give you maximum value with your super. Okay, so the first mode we're gonna be talking about is gem grab. So Gene is easily a top five, easily a top three, probably the number one brawler in gem grab. He is 100% the best mid in gem grab. He's just an absolute beast with his pull. He has the best super in gem grab. Tar has the best super in the game, but for gem grab and the way gem grab is made, and kind of like the, the, just the objective of it, Gene is just an absolute beast with his super. He can take all the gems on their team and give it to you in one pull. It's absolutely amazing. He can be used on all gem grab maps, either as a mid or a lane. He is very versatile as a brawler. So if you're facing a tank, you can beat them. If you're facing a range, you can beat them. Gene can literally do anything, especially with that pull. Um, Gene, again, as I said, is the best mid slash gem collector. Um, Gene having the second most range, meaning that in this control type game mode, he's able just to constantly hold control at a distance where he is comfortable. So if you're facing a Piper, you can actually be out of Piper's range, just slowly chipping him. If you're facing a tank, you can go close enough to hit your 1400 full shot, but at the same time not get hit. Or you can just play a mid range and go, if you're facing spike, get a little bit out of the spike's distance, still hit your full shots, or just a really big chip, but have the spike not hit you. You can literally do anything because of the range and because of how open the maps are, and that's what makes Gene an absolute beast of a brawler in gem grab. So now on to Brawl Ball. So Gene is also a top five brawler in Brawl Ball. You're actually gonna hear me say top five in a mode a lot with Gene, because Gene is just crazy versatile. So he can be used on all Brawl Ball maps, whether they're close range or far range, doesn't really matter. Um, there is a lot that Gene can do here. Um, Gene has like one of the best supers when it comes to Brawl Ball in the game. Pot probably a top three super. I would say top two, but Frank is arguably top two, so I'm just going to be safe and say top three. He's a very controlling super, which is good for the current meta. Currently, the current meta is just like kind of anti-tank control and so gene is really 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 good for that magic puffs is a broken star power on this mode i mean as you're always around your teammates you're always really in this really condensed area so it's just really good to have consistent constant 400 heal a second for your teammates it's actually really really good um he's a great defender due to his pull gene's pull is really lethal can do a lot um, it opens up a lot of plays for you on defense while being good on defense and extremely good on defense He's also extremely good on offense as if someone is playing goalie and your teammate has the ball You can literally just use your super and pull him away It's really lethal his super on both offense and on defense and he's such a great control brawler Which is just what makes gene absolutely lethal and then obviously you guys know how important this is He does have the wall break ability You can pull someone and kind of walk any direction you want and to break whatever walls you want Gene is really good at breaking walls, although his super you don't think is meant for it. It's actually really easy once you get the hang of it. So I would definitely recommend doing that. So that's going to be Gene for Brawl Ball. As you guys know, absolutely amazing brawler. Let's move on to the next mode, which is going to be Heist. I know we said we're going to move on to Heist, but let's just stop here. Do not play Gene in Heist. Now, I've actually made Gene work in competitive, but I am me. And not to brag or do anything like that, but I've played Gene competitively more than 50% of my games for about a year now. I've played Gene a ton. I know exactly how to play Gene and you can more or less make any brawler work on any map as long as you know what you're doing. So Gene, do not play on Bounty. There's probably 30 better brawlers than Gene that are, sorry, don't play him on Heist. There's probably 30 better brawlers than him that you can play on Heist. He's just not good due to the fact that Heist is tanks and, a and just damage. That's all it is. He's not good at killing tanks and he doesn't do a ton of damage. So that just leaves Gene to be basically useless in the mode. Do not play him in Heist. Not going to go over any gameplay. Just don't do it. So now we're going to move on to Siege here. So Gene is a top five brawler in Siege. Gene is absolutely lethal um in siege he's just an he's just a god here this is probably my favorite mode to play gene in um, he's good on all siege maps he is probably the only brawler in the game that is good on every single siege map now that i think of it i think it's just him and penny but he definitely excels on more maps than penny does gene is probably the best siege brawler but if not we'll play it safe and say he's top three or top five gene is good really good for mid controls so you guys can see in the mid right here i'm just holding down the control against this penny and you can hold control against any brawler in the game um, he's very good 
on nuts and bolts, some assembly required, and junk park. Now, factory rush, she's a little bit different in, um, but just because it's a really ranged map and you see pipers and brocks there a lot, but he still does a good job against them, so you can still use them there. And actually, on all those three maps I listed before, use magic puffs as you're close to your teammates but on factory rush make sure you guys are you using spirit slap because you kind of just hold your own lane very far away from your teammates so there's no point of using that star power um he can almost like three tap everybody in siege outside of the tank so that's super important and you can pull your opponents into the ike which is also huge pulling them into the ike does a ton of damage and since you're always close to your teammates in siege you can always pull your pull uh, the enemies close to your teammates there is a lot you can do with siege and Gene, let's continue into the next game and keep talking about it. So another thing you can do with Gene on defense is there's two things you can do. You can A, use your pull and pull the bot away from the Ike, which means that their team is going to be close to the Ike, closer than the bot, and it's going to start doing damage towards them instead of the bot, thus making their damage worse. Or you can just target their damage dealer, so their spike, their barley, their lobber, their brock, anything like that, and just try and take it out with your pull or just tank shots and three tap it, die, and respawn. Both really applicable strategies. Gene is really good on defense. He's decent on offense, but defense is and control is definitely where he shines. So make sure that's your, that you're using Gene properly. Don't go in and dive. Make sure you guys play proper defense and all. Let's hop into the next mode. Let's keep talking about Gene. So on to bounty now, and exactly like every other mode that we have talking that we have spoken about outside of heist. Gene is a top five brawl brawler on this mode as well. So he is good on every single bounty map, whether it's open and there's no grass or whether there is a ton of grass. He can do whatever. He can either chip and just try and get shots on open maps. He can just pinch or shoot at the grass such as on Snake Prairie and figure out very easily where his opponents are due to his widespread and his big range while being at a safe distance. Gene is very, very good on bounty um he has the second most range in the game which obviously is very important on bounty being that it's it's range from majority of the maps there are some such as the one we're playing on right now where it could be more close range but even then gene is totally fine in magic puffs is really good on a map like this or snake where everyone is close together but if you're playing a map where you want to hold your lane again use spirit slap get the additional damage it's definitely a very good idea um, something very huge about Gene is he can almost three tap or he can three tap almost every single meta brawler in Siege. So Mr. P, um, Barley, um, Tick, Brock, Piper, the list goes on and on and it's actually really good. The only ones he can't three tap is another opposing Gene or like a bow, but everything else that's meta in Bounty he can three tap and that's something that's extremely important since you, since you can just sneak up, sneak up to them, walk up and three tap. Um, obviously the the pull is extremely meta because every death and bounty is very important especially the higher cups you go so that assassin pull is something that's absolutely lethal and something that's huge is he has enough hp to tank two or three well he can tank two shots from piper unless they're using ambush star power which means it takes three shots from a piper to kill a gene and it takes four shots from a brock to kill gene and that's what makes him truly lethal in bounty the fact that he can tank shots from the two most meta brawlers in the mode so with that being said let's move on to the final mode which is going to be showdown it's gonna be mixed with showdown and duos so let's hop into it and let's talk to you guys about that as well so again just like i've said about every other mode outside of heist gene is a top five in both solo showdown and duo showdown i don't know how gene is this good without getting a nerf you can just make him work in so many different situations that he's just always top five in these modes so his pulls are very lethal because obviously you can pull people towards your teammate in duos like you're going to see with myself and david playing shelly you can pull weak people or people that you can three tap in solo showdown to guarantee a kill or if you're playing a mode with a bot some a bot can be chasing somebody around and when they're very low hp the bot being 2k or 3k hp you can just pull the bot and get three free power-ups just for the cost of your super and that makes you actually way stronger and that's a really good exchange i'd highly recommend doing that and it's just little things like this that make gene so incredibly overpowered here so he's bad at breaking boxes which is the only thing that i would say um, don't try and bake boxes when you're around other people because you could waste your shots they can come up to you and kill you pretty easily in duos use magic puffs this is fairly obvious you guys are going to heal your teammates which obviously is very important and in solo showdown use spirit slap because there is no use for magic puffs so that is going to end the showdown that's going to end all the modes that's going to end all of my tips i've said everything i know about gene either at the start or during this video i've said absolutely everything so to conclude 
the Jean guide, I would say that Jean is probably a top three brawler in a game once it comes to higher trophies. If you're not high up in trophies, then you probably don't see as much Jean dominating, but the higher you get, the more you're going to see it. Jean truly is one of the most lethal brawlers in the game and one of the most well-rounded brawlers in the game. So after learning knowledge or after getting knowledge from this video and practicing a little, I expect you guys to be absolute studs at Jean. I know a lot of you guys have gotten 1,000 Jeans just from watching me play. So hopefully with this video and me sharing everything I know about him, you guys are going to be able to absolutely dominate with him. So try it out, practice, do what I said, and let me know on Twitter, on Discord, anywhere. Just send me a DM, tag me. Let me know how you guys did with my tips and let me know if you guys are pushing more trophies. So that's going to be it for my first brawler guide. If you guys did enjoy, let me know in the comment section down below and I'm going to continue making brawler guides. If not, I can move on to something else, but I have a feeling you guys are going to like it since you guys have been asking for it for a long time. So it's going to be it for me today. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.